Today we will be discussing some of the recent news surrounding BFD stock. Make sure to give us a like, and subscribe to the channel for more stock updates like today. Also get your two free stocks, valued all the way up to $1,600, only after you deposit $100 on the platform. Use the link down in the description, to get your two free stocks, and now let's begin with our video. BFD stock is up 23% this week and is up 32% this month. Following the news of the Paysafe SPAC merger, BFD stock trading volume skyrocketed. Previously their average daily trading volume was around 700,000 shares, now it is more than 51 million shares of the stock. That is a massive spike in the amount of shares traded and shows the investor interest in the stock now. Paysafe is an integrated payments platform focused on connecting businesses with customers. It is a young stock version of Square and PayPal, and has 5x potential and further if you were to compare it, to the prices of BFD to Square and PayPal. Founded in 1996, Paysafe is a payments platform that connects businesses and consumers across 70 payment types in over 40 currencies globally. Paysafe of London, processed $98 billion of annualized transaction volume in 2019. It employs about 3,000 people. They handle the transactions for DraftKings, Fortnite, Roblox, Betfair and many other companies. Paysafe processes nearly $100 billion of payment volume, with more than 75% of revenue from online and integrated services. It has a highly differentiated B2B global network with a powerful suite of digital wallet e-cash and integrated processing solutions. Its long history as a global market leader in iGaming payments better positions the company to capitalize on the expanding US iGaming market. The iGaming market is projected to grow to $24 billion in 2025. The SPAC merger will change the company name to Paysafe and will trade under the ticker symbol PSFE. After the merger Paysafe will gain $150 million in cash from Foley and $2 billion in funding from various private investors. Among them is a $500 million from Fidelity National Title Insurance Fidelity and Guarantee Life Insurance. Another $350 million comes from Canny Holdings and the rest are made up of other investors. The Paysafe SPAC merger is set to close during the first quarter of 2021. Steve Grosso from CNBC Fast Money thinks that the stock will triple in value. If you compare BFT to Square and PayPal you could argue that this stock will skyrocket past that price target. I think more and more investors will have this stock on their radar and this will drive up the price. As more mainstream media starts talking about this stock it will continue to trade higher. The appeal of financial technology companies as acquisition targets has increased during the pandemic, as more people shop online and make more of their payments digitally. Philip McHugh, a chief executive of Paysafe said, the company aims to expand its digital wallet offering by acquiring several players in the space as well as to build on its position in the emerging sports betting market in the United States. Fintech companies benefit greatly from the pandemic and will only continue as this digital revolution continues to take over. I think that this stock is a good opportunity for the long term if you're looking to achieve the same returns or better like with PayPal or Square, and it will continue to go up. Make sure to give us a like, and subscribe to the channel for more stock updates like today. Also get your two free stocks, valued all the way up to $1,600, only after you deposit $100 on the platform. Use the link down in the description, to get your two free stocks, and we will see you in the next video.